What is up guys, my name is Andrew and welcome to Planet Zoo, a game made by the same people who made Planet Coaster. Except it's got more animals and less roller coasters, naturally. It's a game where the whole goal is to build a zoo and meet cute animals and make them super happy in your awesome paradise land. Or do other stuff, I don't know. Just a giant cute animal sandbox. We're gonna play some of this in franchise mode and see uh, see what kind of zoo we can make. Yep. Now I've already started one, but we're not gonna do this one because I wanna start a new. So we're gonna do a new zoo and we're gonna select a biome. We're, we're gonna pretend like we're just in a temperate biome, just a normal area in North America. And we're gonna call this, oh, okay. We're gonna call this the and zoo. <laughs> Cause it's like, you know, get it? It's like Andrew, but it's, it says, it, it's cool. It's a awesome pun. <laughs> Okay, no one's laughing. It's fine. Great new zoo. This is gonna be awesome. Franchise mode. It's kind of like, well, franchise mode is the one where you don't have unlimited money, basically. There's one where you have unlimited money, one where you don't have unlimited money, and then one where you have challenges and stuff. But this is this is the middle one. Okay, franchise mode, planet zoo. We start with an amazing long area of place. We're actually gonna pause the game real quick because we don't want time to flow. Time actually flies really fast in this game. Look at this. I'm at the slowest mode. Look how fast time flies. January 14th. January 15th. Look at that. It's pretty fast. Although, there's actually, it's weird, there's actually a timer right there, but it has nothing to do with the day that you're on, so that's kind of interesting. But anyways, we're gonna pause it, and we're gonna start building our zoo. Uh, now the whole the whole thing with this, uh, what we're gonna do here, this little series that we're gonna do of Planet Zoo, is there are two ways you can play the game. You can play it very, you know, very gameplay-wise, which is where you kind of try and uh, make money and make a zoo that's actually functioning, and you can play it uh, pretty wise. I don't, I don't know how you would call that, but like basically where you make really cool buildings and stuff and try and make everything look like a real zoo. We're going to go kind of in the middle of both of them. So we're going to try and make our buildings look cool, but we're also going to try and make a, a zoo that actually functions. Uh, we're not going to go crazy in detail, but we're just going to, you know, we're going to try and make things look cool. Uh, we're going to start with a normal path here. And I, I don't know what, how, how do we want to start this? I feel like we're going to start with something. Oh, this is actually not bad for like, if you're, if you're entering a zoo, that's not terrible. How do you increase the size of that? Nope, that's the wrong one. There we go, okay. You're gonna get into the zoo and you're gonna immediately, it's gonna become big like this. And you know what, we're gonna, we're just gonna go straight for a little bit. There we go, just a little bit, something something like that. And that's, you know, that's where you, you get in, you're like, all right, we're in the zoo, what are we gonna do? Well, you can see straight ahead and you can see exactly where you wanna go. There's gonna be a lion statue right there. And to the, to the right, there's gonna be a bathroom. And to the left, okay, the camera's wonky. To the left, there's going to be a, a chief beef, which is a, a burger store, basically, <laughs> in Planet Zoo. Um, okay, so this is how we're gonna do this. Now, what it's telling us on the left here is that we need a bunch of stuff, a bunch of um, kind of behind the scenes things. Uh, that you need to keep your, get your zoo up and running. And this might be a lot of what the first episode is going to be, is trying to get this stuff up and running. But um, we'll try and get this as fast as... You know what? The goal for today is to get a an animal. We want to get a single animal in the zoo and that sort of thing. So in order to put this stuff here, this is all kind of behind the scenes stuff. So I don't want to put it on the main strip. I don't want people to see the vet surgery um, because it's going to be sad. <laughs> I don't want them to see the staff room, the staff slacking off and stuff when they should be paying attention to animals. So we're going to kind of make a staff path, a staff path, a staff path, really a staff path kind of go off to the side here. It's not gonna be that big, just kind of a, a small thing. Let me, let me decrease the size a little bit, eh, something like this. And we're going to run it kind of this way. So for those of you who might not have ever played Planet Coaster before, Planet Coaster is basically like Roller Coaster Tycoon, but like with, y y okay, you know what SimCity 5 did to the SimCity franchise? Not the bad parts, but the good parts where you could have curved roads and stuff. That's what Planet Coaster did for the, um, for, for, for the Roller Coaster franchise. And Planet Zoo is basically the same game as Planet Coaster, just with animals. So it's got all the, all the, the same uh, mechanics and stuff. So it's really cool. So this is the staff path, which means no one's going to be able to go there. And I want to add some staff buildings. And I think we're going to add them over here. This is not a bad spot. I want to add them here, but we don't really have that much space. So we're just going to start with the... I think we need the trade center because that's how you get animals. So we're going to start with that under facilities and somewhere over here. Staff facilities and I think... Yes. No, not staff room. The trade center. So we're going to stick... Now, what, we, what you can do is you can place a shell of a trade center or you can place like an actual already built trade center. And this is one that, that they made. But we're going to make them ourselves because even though this looks really cool, I want to make them uh, ourselves. And I think we're going to try and stick multiple buildings in one building zone. So this will, this will be interesting. Uh, let me turn this around. Okay, so the building's going to be right here. What is this again? 
This was our trade center. Okay, so trade center is going to go right there. Then we're going to stick a workshop, which also takes up one space. We're going to stick that one right there. Then we're going to stick the, let's see, what else can fit there? I think we're going to stick a staff room because that's a two. We're going to stick that around the back right here. Oh, it's going to be cool. So we're going to, it's going to look like one big building, but it's technically three smaller buildings inside. And we're going to, we're going to kind of make it look cool. So it, it doesn't look like three smaller buildings. It'll look like one. Um, all right. And let's, let's, in fact, for now, what we're going to do is we're going to delete these paths and I'll add them back later. Uh, okay. So let's make sure we're in the, I'm trying to figure out how, to, how this stuff works. Okay. We're going to go to architecture and we're going to make ourselves a nice little building to start off with. So I think first we're going to do something like this, get some walls up and running. Maybe something like that. Let's get, let's get a window piece. I think we have that somewhere. Yeah, right there. Nice little window piece. Do we have any more windows or just doors? Oh, just doors, I think. So we'll get doors. Wonder, should we make them arches? No, that doesn't look really that good, does it? We'll just, we'll just do. Although we could like, look at that. You have an arch going toward your building. That wouldn't be that bad. No, what we're going to do is, oh, in fact, I have an idea. Ooh, let's do this. Oh, it's going to be awesome. Okay, let's do this. We're going to add one like that, and then we're going to add our door piece, which is one of these. Door there and door there, and we're going to add another door right here. Oh, man, it's going to be so cool. Um, that's going to come around that way. Oh, this is going to be so awesome. We're going to have windows. Do I want windows? I, I do, yeah. Okay, so we're going to have windows. It's going to be really cool. Put a window right there and stick a window right there. And this is just going to be a normal, a normal one. Ah. Okay, there we go. Now we have a cool shell. Oh, except this one right here. Yeah, now we have a cool shell of a building. So it's going to look like one big building, but pretty much you're going to be able to walk in there and go to whichever part you want to go into, whether it's the staff building right here, the workshop right here, which, which researches, researches uh, building stuff, or the trade center right here, which gets us animals. Okay. Um... How do I do this? Am I still in build mode? I think I'm still in build mode. Okay, so let's go to paths. And, oh shoot, how do you do this? There used to be a way in the in Planet Coaster to build paths in square form. Paths, align the grid, that grid, make them square. Oh yes, okay, there we go. Okay, so we go this way. Are you not connected to you? You really should be, shouldn't you? All right, whew! There we go. I finally got it connected. It looks a little weird here. It's not as square as I'd want it to be, but it finally gets connected. For some reason, these buildings right here did not want to connect to this one over here, but it's fine. They're now connected and everything is good. All right, let's add back those those um, blocks we took away. Uh, so there's our first building right there. It, it You know, it's not really that crazy, but it's just, it, it's just kind of a, like I said, we're going to try and make everything look a little bit nice, but not crazy nice. So it's a building and it's got our, our main thing. So What's this? The workshop over there and the um, the staff room right here. It's really nice that they do a lot of attention to detail with some of these things. So it's kind of cool. What's this one again? The trade center. So at this point, we should be able to trade for animals. But what else do we need? The zookeeper's telling us that we need something. So we need a, a, um, we need a vet surgery area, a research center, a quarantine, and a keeper's hut. So what I might do is I, make a, I might make another building just right next to this. Or I might put those on the other side right here. So like a research center, how big is that one? If I go into facilities, the research center. Okay, so the keeper's hut's a small little thing. The research center's also a small little thing. The vet surgery, if I remember correctly, is huge. Yeah, it is. The, um, and the quarantine, I think, is also huge. But yeah, so quarantine and vet, vet uh, surgery are, are pretty huge. Okay, so what we're going to do for now is we're just going to make a small little building that's going to have these two, the keeper hut and the... Uh, the other thing actually i don't know are you supposed to have a keeper hut next to the animal area i don't i don't know that one okay this one's just gonna be kind of a, a double door like that we're gonna have double windows on the back and then we're gonna have double walls or no single wall yeah i'm gonna follow the same style we did right there uh which is actually easy so it's it's pretty nice to be able to follow that but just just something like this and we should have a wall to match that as well like this one there you go and this one right here awesome finally let's change the paths to the path that we're using for these things and there we go how come 
Okay, that was weird. I didn't change paths in between that, but decided to... Oh, okay. Wow, let's undo that. I don't know. Why are you... Alright, whatever. That's really weird. I don't know what that's about. And let's add a vet surgery. I don't think we're going to add a quarantine just yet, because we don't really need to. Uh, until we have animals that are in need of quarantine. So vet surgery, we're going to stick right there. Pretty much this is going to be the main strip for all of our staff. And this is the main strip for all of our people. So staff just come in immediately to the right and they can start working. All right, construction stuff. Let's throw in uh, some walls on the sides. That's not where I wanted that. Okay. And the vet surgery is really cool because you can see inside it. Oops, did not want to do that. You can see inside it when the animals are in there, because it's got windows. They, they did a lot of attention to detail with this stuff. The animal actually pops up right there, and you have someone working on them um, to try and get them in, in uh, tip-top shape. I was trying to say ship shape and tip-top shape at the same time. All right, we've got all the buildings that we're going to want so far. We can do a little bit, maybe off camera, we'll do some some work on the uh, on these to make them look a little nicer. But for now, I think they're, they're as good as we need them to be. All right, let's start working on our first animal exhibit. So how do we want to do this? I think the first thing we're going to work on is going to be a gazelle because that's the ch I think that's really cheap and really easy to do. So just something pretty simple. Let's check out the uh, animal uh, market, see what's on the market here. And I'm pretty sure these are all from real people. So that would be the person who's selling it. Yeah. So these these are all from real people and they're all um, they're all like you can sell your stuff on the online market. Which is kind of interesting. Let's, uh, let's... We don't want timber wolves. That's what I have in my main zoo. In my, in my single player zoo. I've got a timber wolf and it's really cute. But we'll, we'll get there eventually. Uh, the thing with timber wolves is they're, um, they're, they're like, uh, snowy things. And we're kind of in a temperate climate. So I want to make a really nice snowy enclosure for when we get to snowy animals. So we're going to do gazelle. And I don't know what they're actually called. Because it's in alphabetical order. <laughs> so gazelle... Stop me when you see gazelle. Gazelle is like just a deer, basically. But it's really cool. Oh yeah, ant antelopes, that's cool. I, I really look forward to them adding like more animals and stuff. They're probably gonna do it as DLC because Planet Coaster has like a lot of DLC, but it's still gonna be really cool having like all these animal species that you can get. Um, and like, they, I think they only have one kind of wolf right now, but there are probably a lot more wolves. That'd be really cool. Giant tortoises, wild dogs. Where is the gazelle? I, I swear there's a gazelle in here. Springbok? Is that... Let's filter by that. Is that the gazelle looking thing? Oh, that might be. Okay. Springbok. Let's take a look at this. I want to see their um, their stats. So we'll go to Zoopedia, which is like Wikipedia for this. And I want to see if they have interspecies. Oh, there we go. Okay, so interspecies basically means I can put any of these in with them and they'll be totally fine. They'll, they'll love it. So, with that said, I kind of want to make a really big exhibit for this. You know, we'll do, you know what, screw it, we're going to start with flamingos. I'm feeling flamingos. Because every time I go to a zoo, I feel like the first thing I see is a flamingo. So we're going to start with that, because flamingos are awesome. And if you don't like flamingos, then learn to like flamingos. The greater flamingo, and we'll take off the springbok. We'll do the springboks later, and what we're going to do with those is we're probably going to have a giant exhibit that's going to have those, and uh, zebras, and giraffes, and all those things. All those kind of savanna animals are going to go together. Um, with each other, but flamingos. Oh, look at this. And they're cheap. They're not that expensive. I like it. I mean, well, they are kind of expensive. This one's not that expensive. But these ones are. These are like the prized ones, I guess. Well, we can see if we can find some for cash. Because most of them are for these conservation credits. Like this one. Oh my god. It's for 600 conservation credits, and I don't have that many. You gain conservation credits just by, by playing the game, so. But we can look for ones that are in cash. That means we can just buy them. But I don't see any. No one's trying to sell them for cash. Okay, that's fine. Actually, wait, no. Back to Zoopedia. Because I need to see how big their area needs to be. They just need hay. They're, um, I'm looking for the size of the cage that they need. How old do they get? 10 years? 10 years old? That's not bad. Terri ter territorial males. Oh my god. <laughs> so you'll see animals... A, a lot of animals like to go in packs with... Like, only one male and then a bunch of females. I like pimps. They live in there. Oh, am I still looking? I'm looking at this guy. Where's the... Where's my, uh... Freaking... 
Ah, here we go. That's my flamingo. All right, flamingo doesn't have an interspecies, uh, interspecies thing, so it's the only thing that's going to be in the cage. They like bird pellets. They live to... Oh, my God. Up to 500 males with up to 500 females. Wow. Okay. Um, all right. That's cool. So you can have a lot of flamingos, I see. <laughs> Life expectancy is 59 years. What? No way. That's crazy. <laughs> a flamingo lives longer than a lot of people. That is insane. Okay, flamingos. Where do flamingos live? All around the coasts of Africa? Okay, that makes sense. A little in the Middle East, some in Asia, and some in some in Europe. So flamingos are, and in South America, and in the, in the they're everywhere, man. Flamingos love the, uh, the world. They don't need very much land. We're going to give them more than that, though, obviously, because that's a really small area. Um, but they do want a lot of water. And the temperature, I think, is perfect where we are. It's 26 degrees, which is, needs to be between those. Yeah, that's perfect. And they want a grade one fence. Oh, this is beautiful. Okay. Let's make our flamingos. So we're going to start with a barrier. And in fact, I think, you know what? We'll start with the path, actually, because that's probably a good thing to start with. So the flamingos are going to have a nice, we're going to have a nice wooden path. We'll use this wood right here. And the way we're going to do this is, let's make it kind of big, because this is the first, first attraction that people are going to see, uh, is going to be the flamingos. So you're going to have this, and we're going to make it small, like shorter. So it's going to kind of come back on, on the... Yeah, there we go. And it's going to do the same thing back here. Actually, we need to make this a little longer. Yeah, there we go. All right, come back this way. And yeah, there we go. Okay, so our flamingo exhibit is going to kind of come from here around back around to here. So this is all going to be viewing area right here that you're going to be able to see from. And I don't know if we want to do glass or just like a little, a little, um, a little fence. Because they only need a, it said in the Zoopedia thing right here, that they only need a uh, level one boundary of, of uh, more than three feet in order to knock it out. So that's perfect. All right, so barriers, we just need a level one. Um, let's do, oh, I don't have very many barriers, do I? Oh man, I've got these ones right here. We could just make a ditch so they can't get out. That wouldn't be that bad. All right, well, the back side of it is just gonna be this. Let's do this. We'll just cut it like this. Because this right here is a level one. It's a resistance one, so nothing can kind of get through. All right, we're going to run it kind of like this, and then we're going to kind of run it along the side back to the uh, the main area. Right here, we'll probably use one of those null things. to. We'll probably make like a ditch or something. I don't know. Something like that. Oops. No, I didn't want to do that. There we go. Back to this one. Okay, we're going to lower the terrain a little bit. That's probably high enough. That's definitely more than three feet. And then we're going to kind of casually bring it up over here. So it's going to kind of be like a, a ramp going up. And then we're going to have a decorative fence here that people can kind of look past. And I think that'll be kind of cool. And we'll, we'll kind of we'll keep it lower right here. And then, yeah, that's going to be really cool. And this is where we can add some water even. I don't know how deep we want to go here. That's fine. Okay. Uh, let's kind of, what do we want to do? How do I, okay, flatten the surface. Is this it? That's not what I want to do. Let's just lower the intensity maybe and then do something like that. Yeah, there we go. Okay, we're just kind of lowering it here and then... Yeah, there we go. Okay, so what it's going to be is it's going to be, this is going to be the water where the flamingos chill. And then the shallow part of the water is going to be over on this side. And that's going to be land over there. So it's going to be kind of like a just a big lake going up to this thing where people are just like kind of on top. Oh, it's going to be so awesome. Okay. Um, let's add the uh, the water. Well, I, I really should, probably should have finished this gate here before I wanted to add stuff. But let's, here, let, you know what? Let's, let's uh, flatten to the foundation a little bit. Right here. Yeah. All right, and now we can use these null ones right here. The null ones are basically just saying that they can't get up. So it's a way of, um, of blocking off your exhibit without having to conform to the game's understanding, I guess.
All right, here we go. Back to meet up with this, and let's let's shorten that a little bit. And meet up with that one right there. Okay, so basically it's it's just like a yeah, it's just like a little thing, and you can see the the little flamingos chilling. And I might add an island here too, so they can they can also hang out there. Um, terrain, let's let's lower a little bit more. Decrease size. I want to lower this little area a little bit. All right, and let's add some water. Some of that H2O, some calm water. And we'll add it to this level. Yeah, there we go. And I don't think the flamingos, because it said three feet. That's at least three feet, right? That's probably like five feet. All right. And maybe we'll add some water coming along this side as well. All righty, there we go. So a little, just a little area for the flamingos to chill. And it, it'll tell me how big this area is, by the way. Let's see. The barrier's complete, right? Alrighty, flamingos. Hey, there's one for money. Money means you can't exchange it. Okay. Well, I kind of want to buy this one because we have the money. Its jeans are crap, but it's a good start. So it can't be released in the wild because it's being bought. But we have we have the money, so let's go ahead and buy it. Alright, we should have a flamingo, so let's go ahead and move it in the exhibit. I don't know what they want, but we'll, we'll edit it as it gets in there and it'll be fine. Okay, so flamingos, animal trading, I think animal storage is what we want. Yeah. So let's go ahead and move you into this exhibit, and we're going to have... Well, we need an employee, don't we? We're going to have a... Well, we'll hire a single vet. Can't find some accessible staff room. Perfect, okay. It's probably because it's paused still. Uh, we'll hire a mechanic. We'll hire a caretaker. We'll hire a keeper. Do we need the other one? Security, we don't need. Uh, and vendor, we don't need quite yet. Okay, let's go ahead and unpause it and let them let them do their work. There we go. All right, so they're going about their business. I think the vet, no, maybe this one is the one that takes it to here. So they're going to bring it in here and it'll be cool. We're going to add a, um, a just a nice gate right here so people can not fall in. But it's not going to be like a barrier like one of these. It's going to be just like a decorative gate. So they can fall in if they want. The flamingos probably aren't going to hurt them. They might, though. Who knows? All right. Drop our new flamingo friend in here, please. A little flamingo! Lots of particles causing the game to lag. All right, flamingo, how's life for you? Let's go ahead and pause the game while we're checking life out. Uh, what are you liking? You're liking the plants. You're liking the coverage. I guess you don't. You guys don't like... Okay, that's fine. What are you guys thinking? You don't really like the enrichment here. See, it's 17.8 years old. This is older than probably some of you watching this video. <laughs> it wants more adults in here, so we'll get more adults. No worries. And it wants some hard shelter. Uh, what do you like? So you don't really like long grass. You probably want more soil, more rock, a little bit more rock, more, uh, more sand. Okay, I can add that stuff. Let's go ahead and uh, add some short grass here real quick. Okay, everything is good now, so you should be perfectly fine. Okay, the only thing it wants now is hard shelter, which is kind of weird. I didn't realize you guys liked hard shelter. But okay, we'll we'll add we'll add a basic hard shelter. We'll we'll just add the one that they give you. All right, there we go. We have enough hard shelter now. I want to add a little bit of foliage because it it would look nicer. I don't know what kind of foliage you guys like though. So as far as this goes, coverage we can add some. So let's let's add some. Just because it would look cooler. I want to add some from the uh, from the uh, grassland biome. Some trees. Maybe maybe one of these babies. A little bit of grass. To give them some privacy back there. There we go. Add one of those in here as well. Alright, there we go. There's our little exhibit. It looks way cooler now that we have this thing right here. Uh, and I don't know if I want to add some rocks or something, because technically it would still be in the exhibit, so... I don't know, I think... I could try and add some rocks at the base right here, that would look kind of nice, some some uh, some rocks that would go well with this. Some of the smaller ones. If I could, if I can angle them, kind of... There we go, like that. That looks kind of cool. What does the flamingo think of it? That's the problem. If they're too far in the exhibit, then the flamingo will be like, No, I don't like rocks. 
But no, it looks like he's fine. But he doesn't want any more coverage, so I'm not going to add any more rocks. Okay, the single rock it will have to do. Now, you know what? Single rock looks stupid. Get rid of the single rock. All right, let's unpause it and let things go. We'll have... We should have some people visiting now because we have a, uh, a singular exhibit. And our other flamingo over there is probably hating life because he doesn't have a friend. Uh, so let's go ahead and see if we can grab another flamingo on the animal market. See if it does another one for money. Oh my god. Um, if we can get another one for cash, then we'll go ahead and buy it. But if not, we might have to spend some conservation credits, which I don't really want to do. But it doesn't look like we'll be able to. Are you a male or a female, by the way? You are a female, so getting a male would be kind of nice. I don't know how often this list changes, but let's see. If we can find one for under 50 conservation credits, we'll go ahead and take it. How about that? This is 60. 40 for a female. Oh, 40 would not be bad. What? What? Are, how are you? You're not bad. How old are you? Where, does it tell me how old it is? Or does it just kind of... Am I missing it? <laughs> I think it would tell me how old it is. Alright, you know what? Screw it. We'll buy this one. It's only 40. We're going to go ahead and buy uh, that one. Uh, this one's only 25. We'll go, go ahead and buy him as well. Again, it doesn't tell me how old they are. Oh, it does. Ah, okay. It's an adult, but that's fine. Just to get a couple flamingos in here. And then again, if we see some more here, let's, let's let it refresh here. Let's see if we can find some more... Uh, flamingos on on the market for some cash Since it's online, I imagine it's always changing but I Don't know. All right, let's put those guys in here. We got this one. We're gonna move you in here Cool, then we have this one We're gonna move you also in here cool All right, We should have new flamingos coming out soon And in fact what we're gonna do as well is we're gonna go ahead and start researching because it's another thing in the game is you can research stuff so we're going to have our vet research the flamingos so we can try to understand what they like to eat, what they like to play with, and some information about them and stuff. In fact, I hear some people. Do we have some some people coming in? Look at that. That is the best view you could ask for. Look at that. That's a perfect view. And in fact, you know what? While, while they're coming in and stuff, and while we're waiting for the market to refresh, let's, let's add some rocks to this side. Because the flamingo can't see these. It doesn't care if there are rocks over here. So we'll add some some uh, some foliage. Even some going into the, the uh, path to kind of break it up a little bit would be nice. This one right here needs to move a little bit up. There we go. There we go. Look at that. That is looking nice. So this thing right here, the flamingos would obviously hate it because it's way too many rocks and stuff. But since they are in there and this is out here, they're totally okay with it. <laughs> All right, let's check on these guys. Vet research complete. Hey, that's gonna be good. So we can finally feed them. Okay, let's see what uh, what they like. Let's go ahead and pause the game so we can go ahead and do this. Habitat, we want to go to food and water. And we want to see what the flamingos like. So we're looking for the greater, greater flamingo. Grizzly bear is one thing I really want to get someday, but I feel like that's really hard to get. I feel like, I feel like they, uh, they're, they're hard to maintain. Because, I don't know, they're grizzly bears. Get a large food bowl right here. So you guys can be fed right there, or maybe you can be fed right... I don't know, where else is a good place to feed them? Right here, maybe? What is this? Waterfall and metal frame enrichment. I don't know what that is. Let's, let's not. <laughs> I have no clue what that is. Oh, maybe that's, maybe that's a waterfall that we can stick on the side somewhere. Let's try it. Let's stick it right there. Oh, that's cool. Okay, stick a nice little waterfall in there. You know what? Maybe we want to block that by the tree. I don't know. Let's move the tree so it's hiding it a little bit. There we go. Now it's a little more hidden from the public. So from the public, you can only see a little bit of waterfall coming out over there. All right, what are our flamingos thinking? Let's let's uh, let's grab them and see what they're um, what they're thinking about. You're not really liking your enrichment. You think you, you think there should be a little more, some food enrichment perhaps, but it's okay. Uh, how are you how are you liking your environment? Thinking it's pretty good. Hard shelter could be improved, okay. But other than that, you're looking pretty good. You're a really young flamingo. Oh my god. Dang. 
and the adult population is really small. But you know what? I'm hoping you guys can get together and make that change. You guys are the two females. Where's our male? Don't we have a male? Yeah. Yo, man, what are you doing over here? Go over there. Go chat with them. Why are you sitting all alone over here? Mr. Flamingo. What's up? <laughs> That's our thumbnail. <laughs> hey, Mr. Flamingo. What are you up to? That's scary. It's going to chop you. All right, that's pretty good. We've got a nice little thing set up. So um, we've got our first exhibit, which is the flamingos, which are hopefully kind of low maintenance. And we're going to let our um, our staff research them a little bit so we can find more enrichment items. But I think all in all, it's a pretty good start to a park. You know, you come in, you immediately can go into the area. So I think we're going to end that one right here. Tell me what you think of this, uh, of this video and of the series as a whole uh, going forward. A new animal has arrived in the zoo. Oh, okay. They just put him in there. Uh, yeah, and if you guys liked the episode, please hit the like button, put your comments and your suggestions down below. Let me know what you want me to build next in this area, what kind of animals you want me to add to the awesome zoo. Uh, and I'll see you guys in the next episode of Planet Zoo.